right, hey everybody, welcome to the channel today. Um, we are at a good friend of mine's house working with one of his weanlings today. We're gonna uh, get her leading, get her haltered, hopefully, and uh, let you guys kind of see what I do. Uh, we did a, a video a couple weeks ago of one out in a big corral. Uh, it was kind of muddy back then. Uh, we've got this filly in a, in a stall in a barn. I'll show you kind of some close-up stuff of how you can do it in, a, in an enclosed corral also. Um, so anyway, uh, I'm gonna just let this run. I'm videoing today, so alone. So I'll just let this run. You guys get to see the good, the bad, um, all that stuff. So uh, we'll get going on her and show you how we kind of get, get them leading for the first time. This filly hasn't been handled much, probably been touched a little, uh, but other than that, um, maybe petted on the forehead, but nothing as far as having ropes or anything on her. So uh, I'll try to guide you guys through this as we go uh, with all the steps and everything so you can see what I'm doing. Um, also, if you guys wouldn't mind, it uh, helps us a bunch on the channel. If you would um, subscribe to the channel, just tap the subscribe button and uh, we would sure appreciate it. It's nice to get the content out to people and, and uh, try to educate people on what we do. So. Anyway, we'll get we'll get after this and I'll explain it as we go. So this filly right now has got her butt kind of turned to me and that's okay. She's we're in a small, probably a 12 by 12 corral. So what I'm gonna do is it'd be nice if we could just walk up and put a rope around her neck, but that's probably not gonna happen. She hasn't been handled, never had that done. So a lot of times we'll toss a rope on them and get let them get used to to just wearing the rope. Uh, before we ever try to get them to lead or anything like that. So what I'd like to do is get her to, to turn around and face me if she would. And if she does, I'll kind of back away from her. Um, let her know I'm not here to get after her or anything. And I'll just see if she'll let me kind of approach her. You see how she looked at me right there, so I'll retreat. Anytime she looks at me, I will retreat and let her know I'm not gonna get after her for anything. If she turns away from me, I'm gonna put a little pressure on her butt right here. And I'm just gonna, if she'll turn from me right here, I'm just gonna try to throw this rope on her. Sometimes they'll kind of get in the corner, it's a little hard to get a rope on, but if we can, if we can get her used to the movement of this rope around her to where it doesn't scare her and she knows it's not going to hurt her then we can work on getting her to give to that pressure so so i'm just kind of flipping this rope around letting her know it's not going to hurt her and all this is is a 23 foot lunge line um, with a big loop on it we want her to to be to where if we do put pressure on her or whatever we can do it and it'll release when she releases the pressure on her. So, so I'm just gonna kind of swing this and let her get used to seeing this swing. And then when she feels pretty comfortable, then I'll just try to toss this on her. I like to handle my weanlings when they're young, get them used to this, but it's not necessary. So, so like I said, we'll just swing this, let her, let her kind of get used to the feel of that. She'll get a little nervous here. We'll just keep, just keep flipping this and making sure she's okay with it. Let her understand that's not gonna hurt her. A lot of times they'll get a little nervous with this rope and that's okay. We'll, we'll get them used to it, so. When they haven't been handled, it's really hard to get up next to their head. So, so if we can throw this, just let, that, just let that be on her neck right there. We're just gonna let her wear this, let her kind of get used to it. It'll take her a minute to kind of settle down to it. Once she realizes this rope isn't going to hurt her, sorry about the dust, we'll try to get that settled down. But once she understands that this rope isn't going to hurt her, you see how fast she settled down right there. 
So I'm just going to sit and just kind of just flip this a little bit, let her know it's not going to hurt her. And then what we really like to do is just put a little bit of pressure. So if you can see my hand, I'm just going to put just a little bit of pressure on that rope. And as soon as she looks at me, I'm going to release that pressure. Let her know that's not going to hurt her. So a little bit of pressure again, start out really light. And their first reaction is to pull against it. But if, now every time she looks at me, I'll release that. So hopefully you guys can see that on the camera. And right now I don't want her butt facing me, but right now until we get her coming to pressure, that's kind of what we deal with there. Right there, she came and she actually licked her lips for me. So I released that pressure. Okay, so I'm gonna, so I don't know if you can see with my hand right here, but I'm not putting more than just a couple ounces of pressure on her. If you put too much, um, I've seen them flip over backwards and all that stuff. So we wanna go just as little as possible to get her to kind of give. There, she looked at me, so I released the pressure. We want her to come and look at us and, and never turn her butt to us. So, so I'm just gonna work with her here a little bit, see if she'll get to where I can get her to face me. So right there, she got a little nervous. There, she stepped towards me right there. Now, if you can see on the camera, she's licking her lips right there. First time she's ever had a rope on her. So we wanna make, her, make sure she's as comfortable as she can be right from the start. So I'm gonna put a little bit of pressure here. See if I can get her to just take a step towards me here. There's a step right there. So I release that pressure. Now she turned back away from me. And when she does, I'll just put the pressure back there. See if I can get another, there's a step right there. So as long as she'll stay there, I won't apply any more pressure. I'll just let that go. If she pulls away from me, I'll put the pressure right back on and see if I can get her to step back to me. Okay, so we'll do it again. A little bit of pressure here. She's looking at me, that's great. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep the pressure there. She tried to turn away, so the print there. She stepped towards me and I released it. She turned away, so I'll put it back on until she steps back towards me, just like that right there. So she's learning that if she will just face me, that there's no pressure on her at all. And keep in mind, this is the first time this, this little filly's ever had a rope on her, so, so the pressure around her neck and stuff is new to her. And I don't know if you can see in the video, but I just got, it's got a big ring on it. So every time she releases the pressure, it releases that rope completely, so. There she goes, good. Good. You can see she's getting a little curious of why it's not when she faces me, all the pressure goes away. She's starting to think that feels better to face me, so. Okay, we'll do it again. Look at that right there. That's what we want right there. Good girl. Good girl. Now watch her, she's gonna get a little curious and start sniffing the rope, which is awesome. There she goes. There is no reason for these babies to ever have any kind of stress with this. This is a brand new thing for them. She just got weaned off of her mother probably, I don't know, maybe a week or two ago. So we'll just let her inv investigate that. And we don't want to do anything. We just want to let her be as curious as she can. And when she feels pretty good with it, we'll start swinging it a little bit like this. Okay, I'm going to ask her for another step towards me here. She's looking at me. I just want her to disengage her front quarters and stay almost, almost. There she goes. Good. Keep that there just a little. There, right there. She took a step towards me. So it's not going to do me any good to try and pet this filly or anything like that as long as she's afraid to face me. Um, what that'll do is that'll get them in a habit of turning their butt. We don't want them to do that. We always want two eyes on us. So a little pressure here. There's a step right there. If she pulls away, I'll just put the pressure back on until she, right there she went away, so I'll just pull her back. Good. We want her to know the pressure goes away when she's looking at us. Do it again. 
in, a little bit of pressure here. There's a step right there. Good girl. She's investigating the rope. So the important part of this whole process is, um, I always use the phrase, less is more. Um, if you can put just a little bit of pressure and get the job done, there's no reason to put more on her. If she won't, you can always add more pressure, but we like them to learn with as little as possible. There's another step. And she's got a couple of horses outside here that are running around that's gonna make her a little nervous for a minute, so we'll just let her stand. Okay, now I'm gonna to step to the side and ask her to come with me again. There you go. Okay, she's gonna pull right there, so I'm gonna let her have it. I don't wanna get her stressed out here. Okay, and then I'm gonna ask her to come back to me here. Good, good. Ask for another step towards, good. And then once I get her kinda of looking at me, I'll reach out and let her investigate me and then I'm going to leave her before she leaves me. So watch, I'm going to offer her my hand, wait for her to smell, and she'll reach out and sniff. That's great and then I'm going to pull my hand away before she tries to leave me. Okay, so I'll ask her again to come. Good, great. Okay, come back again. Good. Offer her my hand. Now I've got her petting her on the cheek right here. That's awesome. And then I'll retreat from her. So we want her to know that with me is the best place in this corral for her. And everybody thinks, seems to think that pulling them is where they learn, and it is not. It's the release, and it's the making them comfortable next to us. That's great to have her let me pet her like that. So pet her on the forehead if she'll let me. Beautiful. Good. Now we all know that horses are have two brains, right and left brain. We're gonna do the same thing on both sides. Well, this is great. A lot of them take quite a while before they'll let you, let you pet them. And I think I remember the owner saying that they had pet her on the forehead and, and rubbed her a little bit when she was really young. So that definitely helps. Good. Good, so now instead of being nervous around here, she's starting to think that feels pretty good. So I'm gonna walk away and just give her a little pressure. Now watch this. There's the step towards me right there. And then go in and pet her. Let her know that's the best place in the world. So I don't know if you can tell, but this rope on her neck is really loose. It releases really fast every time she gives. We're just going to pet her right here. Good girl. Good girl. Good. Good. Okay, so I'm going to ask her to come another step this way. It's a little harder in a small crowd because there's not a lot of room to move. There, she came with me again, so I'm going to pet her. Awesome. Start here, and then every time you scratch her, move down her body a little farther. Let her get used to people petting her all over. Now she's going, hey, you're all right. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Good job. So this filly is really coming around to being touched really fast. Some of them it takes a little while. Okay, so since I'm over on this side of the corral, I'm going to walk on this side and see if we can get her to give to the left. Now, a lot of times, once you get them used to being with you, they'll just come without a lot of pressure at all. So I'm just going to ask her to step this way. Good. Good. There you go. Look at that. So there's her first step forward to lead with me, and it took about five minutes. And then when she faces me, I'll walk in and pet her again. Good job. So this right here is what makes them decide to come and stay with us and be easy 
to get to come to pressure because they realize that if they'll stay with you, all that pressure feels pretty good, or the release of pressure, I should say. So you can see she's being really, really investigating me because I haven't done anything to her to make her fear me. We've just been really quiet with her. So we're going to come this side again and ask her to follow us. There's another step. Good. There. There's two steps. Good job, girl. Good job, girl. Good. Good. Okay, so now we've got her feeling pretty good about things. So I won't ever even put a halter on one of these um, young horses until I can get them to lead on one of these ropes. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing. We're going to come this way. Now watch how little pressure it takes to step towards me this time. Almost. There you go. Good. And all the pressure goes away. Good job. Good job. Now this filly, a lot of the young ones, if they haven't been handled, are really hard to get to let them pet you on the forehead. That's pretty, pretty invasive to them. So um, that's why I don't try to put a halter on them until they get used to us petting them all over. So right here, if I just keep rubbing her over the head and get her used to me being on the side of her, it's going to make it a lot easier when we go to put the halter on her to be used to that. Then what you can do is you can take this rope and you can put it up over her nose. Let her get used to just having that put on her nose like that. This is just simulating what's going to happen when the halter slips on. Good. Rub her all over. When you feel like she's used to that, then you can start rubbing it up her forehead a little more. Okay, then we're going to ask her to come with us again. Good job. There, look at that. Good. Their feet will get a little stuck sometimes, and you just kind of zigzag back and forth. There you go. Okay, so that's three good steps to follow me right there. Good. Now we're going to come this way. If you go left and right and go on a 45 degree angle, then your feet, oh, there you go. Okay, so in, about, in less than 10 minutes, we've just taught this filly to leave. And usually they will do that if you don't put a lot of pressure on them. There, good. Now watch as I turn to this side and ask her to come with me. So we're, this is pretty tight in here, so we're just asking her to Move around here. There you go. That's a tight turn, huh? All right, so we're going to come out here and make it a big turn for her. Okay, you're okay. You're okay. So we asked her for kind of a tight turn right there, and it made her a little bit nervous, so have her come back. Good. Good. Let her relax again right here. Good. She's licking and chewing. So she got a little stuck right there, but we didn't get after her. We just let her kind of figure it out. And I'll just kind of rub down her and just every time I go in and rub her, I'll go from up here on her neck where she's comfortable, then we'll go back to her withers. When she feels pretty good about that, then we can start going down her back and just building on those little rubs. Okay, so she's settled back down now, so we'll go ahead and ask her to come forward again. Good. Good. So I don't know if you guys can tell, she's still a little bit stuck right here but she's starting to every time I put pressure on that she's starting to face me every time that's awesome okay so we'll just ask for a step this way Good. so she got her feet a little stuck right there there you go good So at this point where she knows what that pressure means, I don't want her to turn away from me. So if she turns her butt to me, I'll try to keep that pressure on until she faces me. A little bit 
bit of pressure. Okay. And I'll just keep working back and there she came forward. If you try to pull one of these fillies straight away or one of these babies, they have a lot of power to pull against you. So if you'll go on a 45 degree angle from their shoulder, it kind of helps break those feet loose and helps them move. So I'm just working her back and forth to see if we can get that forward step. There you go, good. Back this way. Good. Good job, and then I'll go in better. Good. She does good. Go in and reward her. Next girl. By rubbing her and letting her know she did good, every time we walk away, it's going to make her want to kind of hang with us because that feels pretty good. There's a step forward right there. And it's really hard in one of these small corrals to get them leading very good because it's so tight in here, but there, good job. She did great right there. So since she's pretty good around her face right here, I think I'm actually going to try to put a halter on her right now, which is a little earlier than I do with some, but she's doing really good. There, she came right to me that time. Good job. Good job. So I put no pressure on her that time and she came to me because she kind of likes these pets. Took a big deep breath right there. She's starting to feel pretty comfortable with me. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this halter, just like we were doing, let her sniff it, rubbing her with it right here, let her know it's not going to hurt her. Rub it underneath her, up over. Set this on her nose. So just like we did that lead rope, if we can get to where she'll let us put this halter over her nose like this. Now, the common problem that you have and what a lot of people will do is they'll go, yes, we got it over her nose, hurry and tie it. And that's the last thing you wanna do. You want her to just get to where you can slide that on there and it doesn't bother her. If it makes her nervous, you just let her go and bring it back. Rub her with it. Good. Good. So we'll just let her investigate that again. If she gets a little nervous from that, we can go right back to the rope again. Rub that over like this. Good girl. Let her know that's not going to hurt her. And once we get to where you can kind of put your arm over her and stuff, we'll just take this and rub her right here. So I've got the tail of the halter here. her back and rub her, let her know it's not going to hurt her. You don't ever want to try to force one to stay. Let her, let her get comfortable. So right there she left, so I'll just bring her back. And we'll just keep doing this until she realizes it's not going to hurt her.
this rub and lets them know that they're doing the right thing. It's comfortable for them. Okay. So we'll just set this on here again, let her get used to it. Take it away. So it's really not about getting it on there that's the positive thing. It's getting them to where they'll just wear that and not worry about it. So I'm just going to slide this on, take it off, see if I can get to where you can see that. So I'm just sliding that over her nose and taking it off. Sliding this on, taking it off. Sliding it on, rub her with it. The loose end right here, you can kind of rub it, put it up over her head. Right here, let her get used to wearing it. Just like that. Yeah, so that's pretty good, huh? Until she's comfortable with that sitting there, it's not going to do any good to try and tie it or do anything else. So, so now we've got that halter sitting on her, which is really good. So I'm just going to just rub this on her, let her know it's not going to hurt her. rubber all right so she doesn't even realize what we just did but we just put a halter on her it's all tied and everything mm. that's great so now we can just rub this around on her let her get used to the feel of it good job very first halter. Good. Good job. So this is just all about making her feel comfortable and letting her know none of this is going to hurt her. I rub up and down their ears. All this rubbing all over their body actually helps them not really pay attention to the halter and that it's nothing that'll hurt her. They just kind of kind of accept it. So, and then what I'm going to do right here is, since we've got a halter on now, I'm just going to rub her ears with this big rope, and then I'm just going to take it off. Let her wear that if she needs to. Bring her back. Let her get used to this all over her face and her ears. Okay, so now we've got the, the rope off of her. We can grab a lead rope and we'll start teaching her to lead with the halter. Good girl, good girl. So if you notice, now she's not turning her butt to me she's pretty much staying facing me she's going hey i feel pretty good about that so so once we've got her to there now we can take this lead rope and just buckle it on right here don't force it just let her get used to it so if she's nervous of that i'll just sit here and let her get used to it rubbing on her The biggest thing you can do with these babies is let them know that this stuff isn't going to hurt them. you got to remember, this is the foundation for the rest of their life. If you can keep this nice and quiet and let them know that you're just here to help them and be a leader for them, you're not going to have near as much struggles if you get one scared. All right, so now we've got a halter and lead rope. We're going to practice the... So this is pulling in different places now. This is on her nose and not right behind her ears. So we've got to let her get used to that pressure too. But watch how easy now that she likes being with me. There's your step right there. There's two steps. Look at this. 
Okay, now she's going, I think I'd rather stay with you than do any of that fighting and stuff, so. So leading really isn't always about just the rope and putting pressure on him. It's getting him to want to be with you. So watch this. This is where she got stuck before. There's the turn right there. Good girl. Good. So that time she yielded her hindquarters and came with me instead of trying to get away. Okay, we've got her in the corner right here, so I'll go this way. A little pressure, just hold it there. There she got it. A little bit of pressure, good. There we go. Okay, there's your leading right behind me now. So now we're actually taking turns in this little tiny corral and she's going, I'll stay right with you. So even though we had her given to pressure, she wasn't really leading and then just all of a sudden she went, oh, I get it. So we'll bring her here. Give her some good petting. Good girl. So I'd say we've been a total of maybe maybe 15, 20 minutes. And we have a, a young horse that's never really been handled, already haltered and leading. So you can see if you're just gentle with these horses and just let them learn, they'll do anything for you. But you've got to get them to trust you. There you go. Okay, so we're just going to walk circles in here. And now instead of getting stuck, she's staying right with me and saying, I'll just stay right here by you. Good job, girl. Okay, now I'm going to ask her to come across the corral. And we're going to switch direction. Make sure she'll lead both directions. Okay, she's a little stuck right there. We'll see if she can figure it out. This side's a little harder. She's not going as wide, so Let's see if we can help her right here. So I'm going to bring her back across this way. There you go. Man, we'll make the turn right here. There you go. Okay, there's leading the other direction. Good girl. There, now she's kind of pushing her butt away for me, yielding her hump. Oh, perfect. So when she gets a little bound up in the middle of this corral, it's hard for her to follow. So now watch her hindquarters move away from me so she can come with me. That's beautiful right there. Okay, so back to here and say, whoa. Good. She's licking and chewing. So she came really fast to this. We could probably do a lot more with her, but a young horse, they don't have a huge attention span. So we're gonna, we're gonna just let that be a, a good first day for her. Let her wear this halter for a little bit. I don't recommend you leaving halters on horses uh, in corrals and stuff. They can snag them or whatever. So I'm gonna let her wear this for maybe 45 minutes to an hour and then I'll come back and take it off. But you can see from how she started out kind of nervous in this corral, she's actually letting me just hug her head and she thinks that's pretty cool. So, so we'll lead her in both, circle both ways one more time. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but look, I have no pressure on that rope. And she's actually leading with me with a big old droopy lead rope. That is exactly what you want. There is no pressure there. Okay, so now I'm going to take her back this direction. Look at that big old droopy lead rope and she's just following me. Very good. All right, you guys, so you can see in a short amount of time how much you can make this first experience with humans a pretty cool deal. Good girl. So 
So we'll let her go. We're gonna do a, a full little series of videos with her. We're gonna get her leading a little better and then we'll take her out, let her get used to leading outside. And then we'll start sacking her out. We'll start picking her feet up. We're gonna get her loading in a trailer. We're gonna do all that. So um, probably within just a couple of days. Uh, so no stress on the babies, nothing. Just get them really willing. So anyway, I appreciate you guys tuning in and thanks for watching and we will Look for one probably in the next week or so for uh, day two. We'll start. We'll work with her every day, uh, but we'll start posting some videos so you can see her progress. So anyway, appreciate it, and we'll see you next time.